Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. So I've done a couple of potting videos the last week and a, a couple questions came up sort of on their comments and also I got a couple through Twitter talking about putters and which putter head should you use. And um, there's a couple of things to consider. Um, w one is how the putter actually hangs. So you can see when I hang my putter here, the toe drops down. Um, you'll see some putters when you do that, the, the face will actually stay balanced. So that's two different types of putter. Do you mean it happens because of the relationship of the neck and sort of where the shaft is pointing. So this doesn't point directly into the middle of the club. If it does, it has that effect of keeping it balanced. So what the kind of spiel is, is if you've got a straight back, straight through stroke, you need a face balanced. If, if you have a stroke that arcs a bit, you would, should use something like I've got in my hand. Um, I, I've been fortunate, I mean we've got a sand putt lab where, where I coach and um, again like I said I've been fortunate that I've been able to speak to people that have done a lot of sort of putting lessons on that system and they don't feel that the putter head affects the stroke that much. So if that's the case, does that mean you can just use whatever you want? Um, to a certain extent, I mean if you have something that you like the look of do you mean by all means try it? Um, the example I gave you of, of having matching the head to the stroke, like you take Luke Donald, Luke Donald arcs a little bit and he's got a sort of an Odyssey number seven, I believe, which is a face balance putter. So that relationship doesn't work. However, we all know from looking at his putting that it certainly does work. Do you mean he holds putt after putt after putt? So again, don't, don't be put off if somebody says that putter shouldn't suit you. If you like the feel of it, I would certainly give it a go. The second thing to consider, and this, I would say this is the most important thing when you're picking a putter, is can you line it up? It sounds simple, but you would be surprised if you try four or five different putters, there will be some putters that you actually align better than others. And it's the aligning the putter that's gonna give you obviously your massive results. So if you were 50-50 between two putters and you, you were like, well, I like that look of that one a bit better, but I line the other one up far better than that one, I would be going for the one that you line up better. And you will probably find you'll hold more putts and as a result, you'll end up loving, loving the look and the shape and the feel of the putter that you've been holding putts with. So again, uh, trying not to kind of, I know, and I'm not giving you a d definitive answer in this video, because to be honest, there probably isn't one. But yeah, try, and you can still get custom fit, remember, so you can change lengths and lies and grip types, etc. But yeah, don't, don't be put off if somebody says, oh, that one certainly won't suit you unless they've got some great evidence to back it up. So hope this helps. Um, if, if you recently bought a putter or in the process of buying a putter, Get a comment down below, I'd like to hear, hear what you've kind of discovered and if it's improved your putting. Hope to catch you soon.